What's up guys for Complex, I'm Emily Oberg and you're watching Get Sweaty. Today we're here at Playground LA with Nicole Scherzinger. Aloha. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Yay, I'm um, so excited. Tell us a little bit about the workout that we're gonna be doing today. Today I'm gonna dance you through a little of one of my very favorite workouts. It's with my dear friend, JJ Dancer. It's a dance cardio, booty popping, get your body working, like cray, sweating it out <laughs> workout. It's a lot of fun because it's a workout, but it doesn't feel like a workout and you can Perfect. take some of these workout moves. The club. Awesome, let's go. Okay, so tell us about your daily fitness routine. Um, is this something you do every day or do you switch it up? Yeah, I love to switch it up everything from spinning to dance cardio to hot yoga to just running. Awesome, so let's start with our warm up. What are we gonna be doing? We'll start by warming up by just taking a deep breath in, stretch, rock it out, and roll our body. So what are your tips for like a good body roll? Engaged. For a good body roll, it's just kind of like however your body want to roll. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you want with your chest to say yes. Ooh. <laughs> so we'll take a deep breath in, plie up, rock it out with your hips, rock it out, and body roll. Uh, body. Ooh, get I it. like it. <laughs> get the club, you know. Let's talk about you recently starred, or you're starring in um, a remake of Dirty Dancing. Yes. And you play Penny. Yeah. How did you prepare for that role? There's a lot of ballroom dancing, so that's where my Dancing with the Stars experience right. came in, and all the training that I did for that, and everything I learned, I got to use it for that role. So I only like, trained two months in advance. I would do JJ's class, just go straight to um, spinning, straight to Barry's wow. boot camp, like, just to get be as fit as I could possibly be, and then a lot of yoga to stretch, and then I would dance all throughout the day. Okay, so this is nice because this is like a stretch, but it's also a double tricep pull. Okay. So you wanna just take your band, I love these bands, and then you just stretch it, stretch. Oh yes, mm -hmm. feel the burn. <laughs> You feel it? Yeah, that's a good Get one. Get your hip into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna turn it up a bit. What's our next workout gonna be? All right, these are really fun. They're called hitch, kick, and lunge, okay? Perfect. You ready? Yes. You just hitch, kick, and then you lunge and touch the floor. So this is a good leg and glute workout? It's actually quite cardiovascular. It gets your heart rate up, and then it's good for the the cheekies. Awesome. The <laughs> cheekies. You ready? Yeah. Five, six, seven, hitch, kick, and lunge. So tell us about the space we're in and why it's special to you. Um, the space that we're in is a new dance studio here in Los Angeles called The Playground. And I love it. I love the exposed brick. Okay, while we're standing here, let's do a little bit of plie. So we keep it moving and do some booty pop. Press back. Make sure your knees are pressing back. When you're working that area called the, JJ likes to call the, the butt hip, that little soft part between your butt cheeks and your hip. Woo, feel it. <laughs> A good friend of mine created this studio and her name is Robin Anton. Creator of And you Pusquet might know that name. Yes, she is the founder of the Pussycat Dolls. <laughs> and this is where we play. <laughs> So let's talk about your time with the Pussycat Dolls and kind of being like this female figure of empowerment and a woman that young girls looked up to. What was that like? I love the Pussycat Dolls. You know, we always say inside every woman is a Pussycat Doll and it was the forefront of the, um, just the whole female empowerment for girl groups, you know? We kind of took the torch where Spice Girls left off and um, did our little thing and Made a little bit more urban, put some stank on it, a little bit more rock and roll. Yeah. And um, added some like edge and rollness to it. Um, do you think we'll ever see a reunion in the future? Yeah, there's always that possibility. Yeah. I love touring and I had such a good time on the road with the girls. 
All right, this one is really fun. It's called the plank and pump, all right? So you wanna walk it out. One, two, three, four, and pop, 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 pop. One, two, three, four. Pop, so what tips pop, do you have for twerking? I know. <laughs> it's very challenging. Well, I'm not like the best worker, definitely. It's, it's, it's a skill and it's an art, but I have not mastered it. But I think a lot of it is in the lower back. I think the lower you go to, the easier it is. Okay, so we're getting into our final workout. Um, we're using these awesome gloves. Can you tell us about them? Yeah, these are our PCD Fit Clubs. And they're weighted, so it's gonna get your arms awesome. extra toned when you're working out. Okay. We're gonna do a little combo called punching bag. So you wanna roll and punch, punch, and then with your other hand, go up and over and rock it out. And roll with your other left, punch, punch, up and over, rock it, hey, I'll rock it out. And roll, and punch, punch, yeah, up and over. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you're doing great. Punch, punch, and up and over, rock it out. Just have fun with it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> we should be like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you get started with dancing? Um, I actually started singing. I mean, I'm a singer first. Right. And I didn't start, I think the first thing I did was hula dancing. My mother taught me hula dancing. Okay. And then it wasn't until later on when I got into a youth performing arts school that I started to dance more. But I've always sang. I just work really hard. And the Pussycat Dolls, I was in a group with all dancers. Mm -hmm. So I had to work extra hard. Okay. But did you pick it up quickly? Yeah, because of my background in the arts and in school and stuff. But yeah, and you just gotta, at the end of the day, it's your own expression uh, through music and you gotta rock it out your own way. So a lot of the stuff, the moves we did, they just know that that's the <laughs> kind of signature, signature Nicole moves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I think we are done. Let's move into our final plank challenge, which we do every episode. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, so we always finish off with a side plank challenge. Um, we just see who can hold it the longest. Oh, I think you're gonna have a beat on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it, come on. You can put the other foot in front to make it a little easier. Okay. So you're in Dirty Dancing, what other projects do you have coming up? Well, I'm always working on music, creating new things. Um, I'm excited about the movie coming out. My arm is shaking. <laughs> I've gotta take a break. I hate the slide plank. When can we expect new music from you? I don't know. I'm, I'm always working on new music. I really enjoyed doing Dirty Dancing. It was my first lead in a movie. Yeah. So I can't wait to do more films when the right opportunities and the right roles come along. You know, sky's the limit for me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I love the theater. I'm always working on music in the studio. Um, I can't wait to get back out on tour. So oh. just um, a little Solo bit of tour? everything. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Got some projects that I can't talk about lined up. Secret so you have to stay tuned. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Yay. Had a great workout. Yay. Can we, can we let go of this side plank now? Yep. <laughs> thank you guys for watching.